Well, I would define LaFima as uh, with different um, specificities. It's a, it's a brand who has a very long history because it was uh, created in 1930 in France. So uh, we can uh, we count among the, the longest uh, and most traditional uh, outdoor brand in the world. The key point of this brand is that we are targeting the great outdoor. It means that we are willing to touch all kind of people enjoying the, the outdoor activity. So we are not here for only for the performance, but we consider that the sport is based on passion and emotion. The, the greatest potential for the next year, for 2011 and 2012, for the brand LaFima is on one side the German-speaking area. <clears throat> it means Germany, Austria and, uh, and uh, Switzerland. We have our own subsidiary in, in Germany and we are really uh, willing to push the brand there. We know that we have strong competitors uh, with the German uh, brands but we are uh, right now investing a lot on the sales force and on different actions. And we do the same in Austria and uh, Switzerland. Well, so. this is a very interesting question. I would define the, the working culture as a mix between traditional and local and international. As I said previously, uh, we are a family company. So Mr. Geoffrey Lafima is the CEO of the company. So his uh, grandfather created the, the company and we are still located in a small village in the southern part of uh, Lyon, close to the Alps, where the company was created in 1930. But on the other hand, we are at the stock exchange, we are uh, uh, playing with the international rules of financing uh, a group. So we are family business, local uh, thinking, but very international, with uh, international subsidiaries in, in China, in, uh, in Hong Kong, in, in the USA, in Japan. So we are we have a culture which is a mix between traditional uh, and a daily, daily uh, basis and on the other hand very international, very financial driven and very industrial driven with own factor. Well, in our adver advertising campaign we already feature uh, a lot uh, Christophe Dumaret which is one of the most popular French uh, climber and uh, mountaineering, mountaineering guy. He has uh, made different uh, uh, ascensions on, uh, on, on tops uh, in Europe and <clears throat> across the, the world. So he's one of our icon uh, guy. And we also feature a lot of uh, 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 people in the trail business. Because trail running is one of the key acts of development for La Fima. And we have an international team with people like uh, Karine Herry or Corinne Favre or, or, or Guillaume Millet, who belongs to the most, or the, yeah, one of the most famous uh, uh, runners in the, in the trail business. Uh, I admire a lot the, the CEO of uh, Puma because he's the, the first guy who already uh, made the bridge between sport and fashion. Nowadays, most of the uh, sporty brands, they claim a part of fashion or elegancy in their collections. But he was the, the first one with Puma to dare making the things different and not speaking only about technicity, about performance, but on, also about lifestyle and sport lifestyle. So it's a strong trend in the, in the society right now in Europe, but uh, it's, he had a, a feeling about it, and he could concrete that in terms of a product collection and image. So I think he's a, he was avant-gardist in, in that side. Well, if I would not be here today, uh, I think I would probably be in a, on the mountain uh, making a, a hiking or trekking with friends because it's uh, the way I spend most of my free time. Unfortunately, I don't have enough time to do it and to do it as much as I would uh, like but uh, yeah I mean uh, we're in, uh, in July <clears throat> it's quite sunny outside and uh, I am sure I would enjoy uh, the, the nature on the mountain. Well I've been working in the export business for 14 years now uh, so I had several, several uh, different uh, experiences uh, probably in my, in my career uh, the, the one of my uh, my proudest moment was when we uh, we, we set up a, a joint venture in South Africa with uh, my former company because it was a, a very challenging uh, mission in an unsafe and unsecure market like South Africa, unstable. But we could, uh, or I could uh, convince the CEO of the, of the company to invest money on that, uh, on that project. I really uh, had a very good feeling with, uh, with our partner in South Africa and I think in business we have to be rationalized to think about finance, but sometimes to follow uh, its instinct. And I followed my instinct, I succeeded in, in convincing the, the CEO and we created the joint venture with the local uh, production and now it's a very good success. So that's why I'm very proud uh, about it. 
follow your instinct, uh, enable to make uh, things different and to make uh, good success sometimes.